Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I've been trying to vlog for the past like two weeks and it just hasn't been working out for me. I get like clips of my day here and there and then I just completely forget to vlog. So we're gonna try to vlog this weekend and hope that we get a good video out of it because I haven't uploaded a video in two weeks. Here we are. Welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited about this weekend. <sighs> Gus and I are gonna start prepping for Christmas. I don't know if we're gonna start decorating our home for Christmas, but we're gonna start preparing for Christmas. It is the first weekend of November and I'm already thinking about Christmas. We usually like to get our Christmas tree up at least like one or two weeks before Thanksgiving just because I like that holiday vibe during Thanksgiving and this is our first year in our own home so we need to go out and buy our own Christmas tree. We need to get some decor and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't plan on buying anything else besides a Christmas tree and like a couple of things but I don't want it to look like Christmas threw up in our house. So we're just focusing on the Christmas tree this weekend. I don't know if we're gonna put it up. It depends on how excited Gus is but the main thing is that I want to buy a tree before everyone else decides they want to buy a tree unless everyone decided they want to buy a tree this weekend. But I saw Michael's had some really great deals on some Christmas trees, so we're gonna go there. Anyway, it's a whole thing this weekend. Also, we did get some really exciting furniture deliveries yesterday, so I will show you guys the updates that we've made on our little home. I'm gonna go get laser hair removal done, and then I'm gonna go to Crate and Barrel because we still don't have like cereal bowls. So I'm gonna go to Crate and Barrel to get some cereal bowls because we don't have any, and it's been really difficult to navigate life without a cereal bowl not for cereal but just small bowls so i'm gonna go to crate and barrel and then because there are like a million different home stores in that mall that i'm going to i'm gonna go to probably anthropology maybe some william sonoma and that's pretty much it i really don't want to spend too much time in there because i need to go grocery shopping today too and then we're gonna go to michael's and maybe tackle home goods if we if we can i feel like i'm just like overwhelming myself and i want my house to be perfect like today but it's not going to be perfect maybe not for a couple months honestly but that's just the way that i am that's the way my virgo brain works i just want everything to be perfect like immediately perfect and beautiful and just everything have its place but that's not how <sighs> furnishing a home works that was all the updates i had for you guys right now that was my really big introduction. I'm hoping I get a really great vlog this weekend just because I am so excited about the holidays and I am kind of sad that spooky season is over just because I was really into it this year and we saw a lot of scary movies. I wore like my pumpkin shirt at least, I think like two or three times in the month of October, which is at least once a week. I wore my pumpkin shirt at least once a week. So I feel like I got really great use out of it. I did vlog on Halloween, but I didn't get enough footage. So again, I maybe i'll show you guys what i was for halloween i'll insert a clip and i'll show you guys what i was and i'll just show you guys little snips of the night we basically went to a halloween party with our friends um it was like a halloween house party it was really fun i i can't remember the last time we hung out um we don't hang out with our friends very often like when we do hang out it's mainly for like big celebrations like birthdays or a party or something but I need, I've, I really want to make the time to like hang out with my girlfriends a little bit more often. Not like every week, that's insane because I can't handle that. But maybe like once a month go out for a girls night instead of seeing each other like three to four, every three to four months, you know? But it does take a lot of effort to hang out with friends, especially at an older age. Um, not that I'm like super old, but as you get older, your friend group gets smaller and more more selective I think that's the word I'm trying to use so anyway I will include clips of our Halloween night here and I'm pretty sure I've already shown you guys the montage but uh, it was really fun and of course my one of my friends uh, the, the host of the party she went like all out with the decorations and uh, it was really fun anyway let's start our day okay oh my god that was a mission. Anyway, I finished my laser hair removal. 
um, down the street there is like a Starbucks so I got my holiday drink of choice I'm so excited I actually tried this yesterday for the first time and I loved it so I got it again today because I have like a Starbucks gift card normally I wouldn't get Starbucks but I didn't have my morning coffee today and I had money in my Starbucks account so obviously I got a grande sugar cookie latte with coconut milk um, it defaults like the default menu item is with almond milk but I like coconut milk a little bit better so I got that so we have the cute little holiday cups I feel like such a basic bitch I really want to take a picture of this but I don't want to be like that one person like everybody knows what the cups look like no one needs a picture Anyway, I'm gonna go put gas in the car and then I'm gonna head over to the mall. Look at all of the holiday Christmas decor. I love it. This mall does everything the best. I swear to God, look at that. Oh my God. It's all decorated now. It's beautiful, I love it. Look at those big ass wreaths, I love those. Okay, so I'm home now. And of course I forgot my vlogging camera downstairs in the garage, so we're vlogging with our phone. I've got two, four bags of groceries to put away. And then I have my crate and barrel stuff here. I just wanted to show you guys the new situation going on. So obviously, as you guys can see, our couch came in and our coffee table came in. I am absolutely in love with our couch. It is this beautiful white, I don't even know what it is, like a, not like a linen, it's almost like a chenille linen woven fabric. It's really pretty. And then our coffee table, amazing. I love it, it's black. And it has these drawers on the side, on each side, so amazing i love it and then i don't know if you guys have seen this but we got this artwork to put on top of the mantle i love it we just have to hang it up um and then we also did get this guy here i don't know if i showed you guys this but he is also from home goods and i think it looks amazing with our sideboard so as you can see i was trying to measure out for some mirrors that i want to buy um it's too small this one here is too small and then the line below it the height of it was huge it would go like up there so i think that's way too big i want something more that's going to cover the majority of the wall lengthwise instead of height so Still on the lookout, but this is what we have so far. Nothing else has changed. We still don't have dining chairs. Um, we haven't bought our chandelier yet. And yeah, the main pieces that we were waiting for were these two. And last night we watched a movie on the couch and it was the best thing ever. And you don't really realize how much you miss these things. So um, still working on some pieces. Um, we're gonna get a little chair for that area. We need to get a rug. Um, and then just like some decor pieces. That's just a little update on the house right now or the condo if you want to be specific. Um, but I'm just going to put all of these groceries away and then I'll show you guys what I got at Crate and Barrel because I only got like three things, but I love Crate and Barrel so much and they were like decked out with their holiday stuff and it was just so pretty. But the one store that really blew my mind was CB2. I never really go in there. Um, I'm really just like focus on Crate and Barrel because they have like really basic things that are kind of timeless. But I went into CB2 just to check it out and literally all of the furniture, all of the styling, just like everything in there was like just me, like me and Gus. If like we could pick one store to represent us and our design style, it would be CB2. So I went into CB2, I didn't film because I was like, I don't know. There was a lot of people, like store associates, like employees that kept asking me like, are you doing okay? And it's fine, but I would feel weird like filming while they're asking me questions and like trying to talk to me. So anyway, I didn't film in there, but I did go to CB2. I went to Anthropology and I went to Williams Sonoma and I was gonna go into Pottery Barn, but the vibe was just very traditional Christmas in there. And that's just not my vibe. Uh, CB2 and Crate and Barrel had more the style, like Christmas holiday style that I like, so focused on those. Last stop of the day. 
So we're finally home from like the five million things we had to do today. So I would want to show you guys what I got from Crate and Barrel and Home Goods. We got our bowls from Crate and Barrel. These are the bowls I ended up going with. They're just a plain, simple white and they just look very sleek and modern basically. So these are called the Aspen Bowl in the seven inch. And I believe they match our big bowls. I don't know, but they look pretty similar. So we got four of these. I believe these were like $4 each. They're really cheap. Next, I got the Cuisine Stripe dish towel in this really pretty red and white pattern. I got this mainly for Christmas, but I got the gray version from my wedding registry. I believe my sister got me those dish towels, but I love them so much and they're such great quality that I decided to get the red version for Christmas. I believe these were like around 13, 12 or $13. So, um, and they're really thick and I really, really love the quality. So I got these. And the last thing I got from Crate and Barrel, um, let me pull this out, hold on. My one cup, me one cup measuring cup, broke the handle completely broke off so i don't want to use it like this because i do put this on my stove top to like melt butter in and it was handy to have a what's it called a handle it broke off so i decided to get this uh this is the is it pyrex pyrex i don't know but this is the two cup measuring cup they had a smaller one um, I think the max capacity was one cup and then they had this bigger one for two cups So I decided to get the two cup one just because why not? Um, and this one was I think ten dollars I know the smaller one was eight dollars and I was thinking like Might as well get the two cup one. It's only two dollars more like we're gonna get the big one. So this is like This is like legit. I love this. So during the holiday season I do bake a lot and I find that having one of these is really helpful. My mom had my mom has this one and the one cup version as well. She has both. And I would use them all the time when I obviously when I was living with her for when I was baking. So I decided that I really just needed to buy my own finally. So I'm gonna throw this away and I'm gonna start using this for baking. So that's the last thing I got from Crate and Barrel. Moving on to Home Goods. Well, actually, before we move on to Home Goods, the next place we went to was Michael's, and we actually bought our Christmas tree. I will show you guys tomorrow because I think we're gonna put it up tomorrow. We don't have any ornaments for it, um, so we were not gonna decorate it until probably next weekend or the weekend after that. But we have our Christmas tree. It was from Michael's. We bought a seven-foot pre-lit Christmas tree, so you guys will see that tomorrow. But anyway. After that, we went to Home Goods. We bought a mirror for above our sideboard. I will show you guys in a minute. But we also bought a couple other things. So, okay, so I got two candles. I got two candles. The first one is this Red Leaf Home candle, and this is in the scent Humidor. So it has wild tobacco leather, I don't know, vet, vetiver? Vetiver? With a hint of cedarwood. I don't know what vetiver is, but this is what the notes are. And this one was $12.99, so this is 14 ounces, so I'm hoping this will last a while. It also has those wood wicks that I like, so this smells really nice. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but I have not been buying many sweet-smelling candles anymore. I'm really into, like, the leather, tobacco, woodsy, manly, masculine smells, so... That's what I've been buying recently. So I got that one. And then I bought this one again. And this is from that same brand that I got last time I was in Home Goods, the Palo Santo candle. But this time I bought the suit and tie smell. And this is also from that brand, Manly Indulgence. And this one has notes of jasmine, sandalwood, and sugary musk. And this one was $8. This one smells like a man. I'm not gonna lie. So I got this one as well. I got two things for the kitchen. A couple weeks ago, I had my mother-in-law over and we were having tea. And I, she likes to take sugar with her tea. And so I pulled out my really big pink tub of white sugar. Like it was like, it's this big. And it was just awful. And I was like, this is not the vibe. Like I need to get something that looks a little bit more presentable and adult and like purposeful is that is that the right word i wanted something obviously i want a sugar bowl that looks cute but also serves its function so i decided to pick up a sugar bowl and this is the one that i got it looks like a little beehive to be honest it has this like grid 
like diamond print on it so it's just a little sugar bowl so i'm gonna put sugar in this one and this one was 2.99 and then i also got the matching what is this creamer saucer is this a saucer a little creamer thing or the milk I honestly don't know what what this is called dispenser i don't know but this is really cute and this one was also 2.99 so now when my mother-in-law comes over or when anyone wants sugar in their tea or their coffee i'm prepared the second to last thing that we got is a decor piece and it's literally just the the main function is just to look pretty and even then it doesn't even it looks you'll see right now this is what it looks like it's literally just a piece of like wood basically this was actually a base to like a glass bowl but we found well gus found just the wood por portion of it we couldn't find the bowl anywhere so um we got to take this home for four dollars is what i'm trying to say um and i kind of like it i think it would be cool on top of some coffee table books with just the piece of wood hanging up hanging out on top um other than that it's literally just wood like it's just a piece of wood and then this is the last thing we got. We got this mirror. Um, this is a better picture of it right here. So this is what it looks like. We got it in gold. So it's just like a little curved mirror. Um, it's in this really pretty gold color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, so it just has a really thin gold frame. It needs to be mounted in a special way. So Gus is gonna work on that. But this piece is gonna go here. And I think that'll just complete this area a little better. This is what we got for this area. And if it doesn't work out, we can also just put it in the bathroom to replace the mirror there. Yeah, I really like it. They also had it in black as well, which I think could look really cool. But we got it in gold to match our little gold handles as well. So yeah, that's the last piece. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have to show you guys right now. I think I'm going to lie down for a little bit. I'm exhausted. I started super early this morning, 8 a.m. I was up and out and I'm just so tired now. But I think we got a lot done. We got our Christmas tree, we went grocery shopping and those were like the main things I wanted to do today. Tomorrow we'll probably pull out all of our old Christmas stuff that we've had, um, that we have in the garage. And we'll just pull it out and see what we have. I think I'm gonna put my door wreath out tomorrow. And yeah, tomorrow's also daylight savings. So I'm just trying to like take it easy. I always get really messed up when daylight savings time comes around or when daylight savings time ends, just because I just like literally just wanna be in bed by like five o'clock because it's so dark outside. Honestly, I kinda wanna get in bed like right now and like take a bath and just put my pajamas on, but resisting the urge. All right, we are live. He's so cute. Are you ready? Yep. Watch it not live. <gasps> wow. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. <gasps> to start. Okay, so put you guys right there we actually did not end up going out to korean barbecue we decided to stay in and i'm so happy we did because as you guys saw we put up our christmas tree and she is just beautiful and i honestly don't want to put any ornaments on the tree this year just because it looks so good and just so natural and minimal and just rustic anyway so gus and i right now are enjoying a little cheese board Gus wanted to go get some, I think, Del Taco or Taco Bell. I don't remember. I think Taco Bell. So he went to go get some Taco Bell. And then we're just going to have a movie night and relax for the rest of the night. I'm watching The Hunger Games right now. But this is what we were doing right now. I'm too scared to sit on my white couch and 
eat this cheese board so i'm sitting on the floor eventually um we will get a rug but i also want to get some little floor cushions so that i personally really do like sitting on the floor especially like at parties or for like game nights and stuff i like sitting on the floor so i think i'm gonna buy some floor cushions eventually but that's not gonna be till later so yeah we're kind of just relaxing right now and enjoying our little night in honestly i'm so happy we didn't go out because i'm I was exhausted after my shower. My body was like warm and just sore and ugh, it was just not the vibe to go out tonight. So very happy we stayed in. Okay, anyway, so it is now Sunday. It feels like it's super late out and the sun is super high up, but it's literally only like one o'clock or something. This whole daylight savings time thing really just messes me up. So um, we've had a very slow and lazy sunday morning i really did try to sleep in this morning but i woke up at 7 a.m technically it was 8 a.m but it was 7 a.m so i didn't really get to sleep in but i feel well rested so that's all that matters we don't know what to do today um because we were out all day yesterday i just don't feel like going out but i feel like we should at least try to leave the house and enjoy this nice weather. So we may or may not go to our local like outdoor mall today. Or I just did the whole update on my Switch. And I updated it to the new Animal Crossing. So I don't know if I should stay home and do this. Or go out and try to just get some fresh air. Because I don't leave my house at all during the week this is like my last chance of the week to get outside so anyway that's where we're at right now i did get completely ready so i did my hair um i tried to blow dry my bangs i was looking at some old photos of me and i was like my hair looked so good when i was like blow drying it and like blowing out my bangs they kind of fell but they still look that decent anyway that's where we're at right now kind of just figuring out whether I want to leave my house or not. Got so much. It's so pretty. Now I don't feel bad about putting my Christmas tree up. So we are back home from the mall. We actually did get a couple of things. So Gus was way more successful at H&M than I was. I was actually really excited to go into H&M and then I didn't find anything except this one thing, which why is my hair doing that? Why does it look so crazy? I did find one thing at H&M and I am in love with this piece. This huge teddy oversized clutch um i think it's a clutch but you can obviously wear it as a shoulder bag i think i'm gonna wear it as both but it looks really puffy right now because it has all this stuffing yeah so this is what it looks like it looks a lot better so this one was 29.99 and you can actually take the chain off and you can change the chain if you want or you can wear it as a clutch i think it looks so cute and it's gonna be perfect for fall and winter so this is the first piece that i got and then the next place that i went to was this store called garage i've actually never shopped in there but i did see a youtuber do like a little haul and she had these pants that i thought were so cute so i decided to go in i got two things from that garage store so first of all I got this skirt, which I thought was so cute, and I've never been in this store before, so I don't, I didn't know what size I was going to be, so I got mediums and everything. Um, so this is the skirt. This is a size small, and it still fits me like, like a little bit loose, but it's a size small. And yeah, anyway, it's this black satin mini skirt. It has um like lace detailing a little slit it's just super cute and i think this will look really cute with a pair of black boots and like a chunky sweater on top really cute for the fall and winter basically because it doesn't really get that cold here so yeah this is the first thing i got again i got a size small which i am never a size small so yeah and this one was 34.95 so this store made me feel really skinny <laughs> needless to say whereas urban outfitters made me feel like 
not skinny and kind of bad about myself. And then I did end up getting those pants I was telling you guys about. They are a black trouser. They literally look like trousers. This makes it look huge. Anyway, just black trouser. They're in this like material. It's really comfortable. It's not like a traditional trouser material like my H&M ones. These are obviously polyester, obviously. Polyester, rayon, and spandex. They're really comfortable and really soft and I'm really excited to wear these. They fit me so nicely. Okay, so the medium, I got these in a size medium, by the way. The medium fits me a little loose in the waist, but the small cinching me in a little too tight, so it looked like I had like a little muffin top, which I mean, it's a size small, so obviously it's gonna fit me a little tighter. So I thought if I'm ever wearing like a crop top or like a bodysuit, I don't want that to show, so I decided to just get the medium. The medium is a little bit longer on me, so I do have to get these tailored, so I'm gonna have to do that, but I love the way that these look. I'm gonna be wearing these mainly with sneakers. I think that's, I'm really into that vibe right now, so I'm gonna get these tailored, but anyway, got these in a size medium. These are their Porter Pleated Straight Pant, and these are in the color Jet Black. I got a medium, and these were $49.95. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I got from the mall. This was a very heavy shopping vlog. We've shopped a lot for, like, the home, and obviously I picked up a couple pieces. Gus got really lucky at H&M. He has a bunch of stuff. I don't know if I can show you guys, but I don't think he would appreciate me showing. Actually, I don't know if he would appreciate it. Um, it's about to be six o'clock. Gus went out to the liquor store to get some tequila because when a craving hits, I guess. Um, here sitting on my new couch. Clyde is in his new little bed. And then we have the setup right here. I heated up some cookies because obviously I was craving something sweet. We have some candles burning. We have our Christmas tree lit up. So I was going to watch Harry Potter on HBO, but then I saw The Lord of the Rings and I've never seen it. So Gus and I are gonna start it. I don't know how it's gonna go and I don't know if it's gonna be good. I've never seen a Lord of the Rings movie. So this will be very interesting, but the first one is three hours long. So I think after that we'll be set for bed. I am officially ready for bed. I am exhausted. It's 9 40 right now and we are doing like a quick cleanup of the house and then i'm just gonna go to bed because i'm just done anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this weekend's vlog and i will see you in my next video